It's the 18-8 win over Hood tonight. Glenn Clark with head coach Kathy Raley. Coach, uh, your team came out sharp tonight. Um, obviously, the third quarter, simply dominant. I, I, I know you're a coach, and I know there are things that you want to do better, but this felt like a pretty emphatic performance. It was. It was. It was great to get this win based on how we played them a year ago and, and during this week. And and you know we had suffered so many injuries a year ago, and we're coming into that game and and just didn't play our A game. And just it was it it was a loss that has haunted me for 12 months. So to have the team as prepared as they were to have some of the girls that were out a year ago and from that game be able to come back and now help their team win um, was a great feeling. And to be able to do that when we're four or five down uh, right now, you know, Isabel, Isabel Van Emberg didn't play today. Um, we've got, you know, quite a few that have uh, surgery scheduled and all kinds of things. So to do that at n when we're not even full strength was a great feeling, really great feeling. Uh, a few things that stood out mm -hmm. to me tonight, and, and you brought up Natalie. Natalie in the early going really stood out. I thought Marissa, too, in, in really active, mm -hmm. getting the ball out, making decisions. Mm -hmm. um, it'll stand out clearly that you scored 18 goals, but – it really felt like this was a more complete performance than that. It was. You know, we were without Marissa the last game. Yeah. So so having her back, that was that was something that was really good for us. You know, we're starting to really play like a team on defense. And we knew we were going to have a young defense and a, and a, a new goalie uh, in that scenario. And to, to get that, you know, to the halfway point and be able to play defense like we did, um, it really just makes me so happy. On the offensive side of things, we controlled the tempo the entire time. If we wanted to push it, we pushed it. If we wanted to slow break it, we slow break it. If we wanted to settle it down and get the middies a rest and let the clock wind down and wear them down, we were able to do that too. We're halfway through the season, and we are sh starting to show some real maturity like it's closer to the end of the season, which really makes a coach feel good. Well, and for yeah. young players, too, right? Like, And I'll add uh, you know, Ava Treacle to that list yes. of players, right? Like, and I, Actually, I need to ask you, does, is this Bailey, the, what we saw that Charlotte North look on the free position in the second half, <laughs> is that like always what we're going to see from she, Bailey? There? Not always, yeah. but she, that hash mark, she can – we've got a couple that can that – can, uh, you know, make your eyes pop out on some of the speed of their shots. Yeah. And, you know, they, we work eight meters every single day. So to have the success, you know, we've had great, yep. great success with that this year, eight meters. And, and we've had great success defending eight meters this year, which is, you know, it's a great thing, great thing to have. Um, no, I'm, I'm proud of the top to bottom. I would have liked to have gotten a few more draws, but there were some issues that we're going to uh, try to try to educate and get a little bit better at uh, as far as, you know, dealing with some interesting play. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> Coach, you, you had Natalie come up tonight. Tell me yeah. about Natalie and what she's done. And again, I thought in the early going, she was really making a statement tonight. I thought Natalie did two things today. One, I thought that she played great with her assignment. Um, I thought Natalie's big plays came in some big moments. And the reason I brought her up today is I just thought she attacked every single 50-50 ball, and she anticipated so well that when Hood would make a mistake to just eat up the ground ball or eat up the garbage on the shot, and she went hard with a protected stick and made great choices in the clear, didn't run for running's sake, really was a playmaker and you know Natalie has some midfield capabilities and she's playing defense now because we have some injuries but I, I don't think I'm ever going to move her <laughs> now now I'm really I'm really happy with how she's playing and I you know I hope she's growing as a leader down there and growing as someone um, that the younger girls can look up to in such a positive way of, of you know how her, how hard she works yeah Congratulations Thank on a great you. win. Best of luck Saturday. That's, uh, of course, Coach Kathy Raley. And, indeed, the storm is coming as we welcome in Natalie Storm. Natalie, it's great to see you. Great to see you, too. Let's, so let's, let's walk through this. Adjusting to playing defense from, from being a midfielder, right? Like, obviously, it's part of what you do. Mm -hmm. But taking on this assignment and this role, mm -hmm. what, what did it take in order to get comfortable in that way? And how good do you feel about it right now? I feel really good about it. Um, I personally like defense a little bit better than attack. Okay. Um, I just feel like I have the body positioning for it, and I don't know. Um, but 
<laughs> it's a good feeling being on defense and hearing coach say that she wants to keep me on defense. <laughs> 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 um, and I just feel like we're all meshing and we're communicating and it's great and it feels good. <laughs> so Natalie, we were talking about you a lot in the early going in this game and the aggressiveness. Coach just mentioned like, Kaylin and I were talking about this. I, I feel like it's got to be a difficult decision when that ball pops out and you don't want to have yourself out of position defensively by going for the ball, not coming away with it. Can you walk me through like what those moments are like? What goes on in your mind when that ball comes out? Honestly, it's just like I see the ball down. Coach always loves us to get the 50-50 ball, so it's just the mindset and also knowing that my defense, the girls I'm playing with, have my back if I end up not getting that ball. And it's just going full speed 100% at it. And, you know, if you get it, amazing. Now on, the, now on to the next play. If you don't get it, again, next play, recover and get back and find a man. There you go, right? And it was working. It was working. This team has won eight of their last nine games after a tough start. And, look, you, you play a brutal schedule. That's the way that it works, right? What did you learn from that sluggish start, and, and how has this team come together? How good do you feel about all of it? Um, absolutely. Like we learn a lot about what we need to work on attack, what we need to work on defense, what we need to work in clears and transitions and all of that. Playing better teams, good teams, helps us learn what's going to make us accomplish what we want to accomplish. Um, Again, it feels amazing and great to continue winning games, and you know we're just going to go up from here. We got to get to know you a little bit. First of all, I would think someone with the name Storm probably has had a couple of nicknames over the years. Is there anything that's stuck? Um, not really. Really? A lot. I mean, a lot of times, like they'll just say Storm, or like I used to be called like Stormy. But honestly, sometimes the nicknames I got didn't have to do with Storm, like. Uh, one of my old coaches would call me Chaos or cra okay. or Kraken okay. for some reason. I don't. Kraken? Yeah. Where did that come from? I do not know. Okay, but I love Chaos. Chaos is awesome, right? <laughs> yeah. You can't do a lot better than that when you're trying to cause chaos. That's pretty good. All right, give us the. Um, all right, uh, who's the teammate that's most likely that you're most likely to get in trouble with? Who's the teammate that like you know that most likely to cause some trouble? Oh gosh, that's really hard. Um, I don't know. I'd probably say like Mina. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just yeah. Um. I mean, Reagan is. I feel like she's responsible. <laughs> she is very. She works up here with us. She's very yeah. responsible. What about? Uh, give me what's on the pregame playlist. What's like a song that you have to hear to get yourself ready to go for a game? Oh my gosh, uh, we play so many songs in our pregame playlist. I think one of them is like the um, song from Rio. Okay. That's <laughs> such a random choice for a. We, we just always play that song. I don't know why. It's what? just so <laughs> we lo all love dancing to it. All right, all right. I can't, I can't hate on that, and it's working. So you stick it out, obviously, yeah. at that point. All right, Natalie, who uh, do you want to give a shout out to? Who's watching that you want to say uh, thanks for everything they do to support you and helping you get to this point? Oh gosh. Um, well, my friends and family were there, and then my boyfriend. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's a nice thing to do. Hey, Natalie, congratulations. Great performance. Great win. Best of luck moving forward, all right? Thank you. That's Natalie Storm. I'm Glenn Clark. Mustangs win. This has been GoMustangSports.tv.